Hi guys, in this video we're going to make some little fondant rabbit toppers. I'm going to use some ready to roll icing, so I've got Renshaw's one here and it's a teddy bear brown. It's actually okay to use on its own, but if you are finding it a little bit soft, just put in a little bit of Tylos powder, just mix it in, then give it a rest for sort of 10 minutes while it's airtight. So you can add a bit of Tylos to it and give it a good mix in. Once it's mixed in, what you're going to do is just take a small part of that and we're going to make a little teardrop shape, a fat little teardrop for the body. And I'm just using a little modelling tool to just push in a little curve down near the bottom at one side. This is going to be part of the leg and we'll do the same on the other side, bringing it down to the bottom. For the front legs, we're just going to push a little line down the middle. And then at either side of the top, we'll bring that out so we're getting like a V coming up from the top. This just saves us making individual legs. So for a bit of a paler brown, we'll just mix it with a bit of white and we're going to roll a teardrop shape, give it a bit of a squish down flat and we're going to pop this onto the front of the rabbit. So kind of down into that V shape that we've made at the top of the legs. This is just going to be a piece of fluff on the chest and we'll add in some little lines just along the edge like so. We're going to give our rabbit some little feet now. So just a couple of oval shapes or kind of tic-tac kind of shapes. I'm just sticking them on with a little bit of water, but you can use edible glue and just push in again with the edge of your little modeling tool. Or you can use a toothpick or a knife, whichever you find easier. And we're going to do some more feet now for the back legs. These ones are going to be a little bit bigger and we're going to roll them. So they're a little bit longer as well. And we'll put two lines in the top and leave the bottom bit plain. So I'm just stretching that out a little bit longer, just thinning it at the far end of the foot. So I'm just going to put a bit of water on there and we're going to stick it underneath the wide part of the leg. Same on the other side. And you can play around with the positioning of the feet. They don't have to be underneath. You might want them so they're kind of positioned up in front of the body a little bit. I've got some more of the paler brown that we're just going to put into a ball and stick it on the bum for the tail. Now for the head, I'm having quite a large head. So it's very cartoony rather than realistic. I've rolled it into a bit of an oval. Now it's going to be slightly flattened at the back because I'm pressing onto a flat surface and I'm just using the ball in tool to push in two eye sockets and I've got a little bit more of my pale brown still left. I've got a little oval and we're going to put a line down the middle of that oval down to the bottom so you get this kind of shape. That's going to be stuck onto the face just between the eyes. Now again mine's not realistic so I've gone for directly in between the eyes. If you want to go lower down you can do. We'll get a little bit of water just on the top of the nose. And then I'm going to roll a bit of a pink. So I've got a bit of pink and orange together here for this one. Ooh, if I don't lose it. And you can either put on a little oval or you can make it a little bit more triangular in shape. We'll stick that onto the top of the nose. And I want just white now for the eyes. And we're going to roll two balls and we're just going to put them in the eye sockets. It's a bit big. In fact, I think I'll half that and try that again. Perfect. Now I'm going to take them out and just make sure that I've got a bit of water in there now that I know that they're the right size. Push those in again. And you can spend longer than I am doing if you like. I'm going to make the eyes, so I'm going to roll out a piece of fondant. I've just gone for a slightly different shade of brown. But you can have blue eyes, green eyes, whatever colour eyes you want. And I'm using a round plunger cutter. It's just a little bit smaller than the whites of the eyes. And we're going to stick this in each eye. Just make sure that it's pointing in the same direction on each eye. Unless you want them to look cross-eyed, in which case that's fine. A little bit of water in the centre of each of the brown bits. And we're going to cut a smaller circle now in black for the centre of each eye. So just make sure that's central. Now it's quite soft with it just being fondant. So just be careful. It doesn't lose its shape too much. I can see when I've pushed that in, I've pushed it just slightly out of being a circle. And ooh, Two small balls of white now. These are just meant to be the little bits of light reflecting in the eyes. We're going to push those up near the top like so. And I'm just going to use some food colouring just to paint on some little eyelashes. So just make sure you've got a brush that goes to a, a nice thin point at the end. I just mix my food colourings with a little bit of water. You can use a clear alcohol if you like, but I always find the water just works okay when I'm painting in small pieces like this. So just three little flicks out from the outside edge. Do the same on the other eye. So to attach the head to the body, I'm just using a piece of spaghetti just to make sure it's nice and secure. So push that in until it reaches the board and I've snapped it off so I've got a good centimetre or so sticking out the top. If your head's quite heavy, put a few pieces of spaghetti in. Just make sure they're not too far spread out from each other otherwise they'll end up poking out the side of the head. And I'm just putting a bit of water on the bottom of the head and then I'm going to push that on in place. And you can put the head on at an angle if you want. The head doesn't have to be upright but I've gone for reasonably upright on mine. 
they just need some ears. And it's up to you how big you want to go for the ears. Try and get them evenly sized. So I'm just going to roll a rough oval shape, just very rough. Just make sure that both ears are roughly, again, the same size and shape. And I'm going to go with the paler brown for the middle. So I'm just going to recreate the same kind of shape but smaller. And I'm going to push that down in the middle. And it has cracked a little bit round the edge. And I'm putting plenty of water down one side just because this side of the water one I know is going to be pressed against the back of my rabbit. Now I've done really long ears so that they kind of curve over at the end where they meet the work surface. But you can do them shorter if you like. And I've gone with floppy ears on this one because they're a little bit easier to attach than having them straight up. I do have other rabbit videos as well if you want to have a go at a different style. So there it is, all finished, ready for the top of a cake. Ideal for Easter. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.